day today we've been talking about how us as ravens fans we got to be just a little bit more patient and we know it can be extremely hard to because we see all these teams making all these crazy moves they signing this player that player that player that player and the baltimore ravens just sitting back not doing much of anything and baltimore ravens to, to make it worse they've been losing a lot of guys that gave a significant impact to the baltimore ravens over the years but now with this report which is Great news for the Baltimore Ravens. Great news for Ravens fans, especially those who are interested in Derrick Henry. This shows that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, at least with the running back situation. And then this is not all we got to talk about with the running back situation because it gets that much better. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on uh, so you do not miss not a single video because I know it's been a lot going on. Team, keep it clean. As of right now, as of this recording, we are at 73,853 subscribers. So we are 147 away from 74,000. Let's get there, baby. Spread the word, subscribe to the channel, and let's keep this thing moving. Now, let's read the report on Derrick Henry that came from none other than Josina Anderson, who I really think that she might be a Ravens fan. I really do. She be keeping us informed and engaged with these Baltimore Ravens. She be giving us the reports on the Ravens that nobody else be giving us. So shout out to Josina Anderson. She said this, I'm told there's interest on both sides between the Ravens and running back Derrick Henry per source. So that's amazing because that makes the job a lot easier. But at the same time, it can make the job a lot harder. We're going to explain to you why in a couple of seconds. But the fact that the Ravens are interested in Derrick Henry and Derrick Henry is also interested in the Ravens, that's a beautiful thing. She said, an agreement still has to be reached, though. We'll see. Oh, yeah, we certainly will. And we're waiting on it. We waiting on it. Uh, we've seen a lot of running backs get signed today. And we just, literally just now, another running back within the division got signed. Somebody who we were just talking about in the last video would actually be a good fit for the Baltimore Ravens, that being Zach Moss. He may not be with the Baltimore Ravens this year, but the Baltimore Ravens are certainly going to be familiar with him because the Bengals, the Cincinnati Bengals, they signed Zach Moss because why? They're getting ready to cut Joe Mixon. So another running back is going to be out there on the market. That helps the Baltimore Ravens a lot, in my opinion. Joe Mixon being out on the market. Not that they will be interested in a Joe Mixon. Um, but the fact that it's another running back out on the market, the Ravens could be talking to Derrick Henry. They could be like, look, Derrick Henry, we like you. Derrick Henry, Henry could be like, hey, I like you too. And when they start talking numbers, Derrick Henry, he could be here. Ravens could be here. Derrick Henry could look around, depending on what his interest level is, what, uh, how many people or teams are interested in him. He could look like, oh, man, I want to go here with the numbers, but the Ravens trying to go here. Uh, and the Ravens could be like, oh, you don't, you don't want to go here? Well, Joe Mixon, he just hit the market. He's a good player. We know what he's like. We, I mean, we, we go against him twice a year. We know what he's capable of. And they could point it to some other running backs that are currently still free agents. It's not that many, but there are a few. And they could be like, you're not the only one that's here, Mr. Henry. But Derrick Henry could be like, look, <laughs> I'm the best one that's here. Y'all have seen the numbers that I've been putting up, especially behind that Titans offensive line. Imagine what I could do for you. So with those negotiations, they can get very, very serious. And hopefully they do get very, very serious in the in Baltimore Ravens. They end up taking care of business. But like Josina Anderson said, we'll see. Because at the end of her report, she said an agreement still has to be reached, though. This reminds me of a guy, a guy that's interested in a girl. And she's like, man, she's pretty. She's cool. She's got amazing personality. I'm attracted to her. But then through the grapevine, that guy, he hears that the girl is also attracted to him. And he's like, oh, man, she's attracted to me. Oh, this is great. Wow. She thinks I'm cool. She thinks I'm handsome. Oh, this is awesome. Cool. But he still, even though he knows that. He still got to both muster up the courage to speak to her. And then that conversation has to go well enough to where those two, they start courting each other. They start dating. And then eventually, hey, who knows? They may get married. But see, that's where the Baltimore Ravens are at with Derrick Henry right now. The interest is mutual on both sides. The Ravens like Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry likes the Ravens. But now the conversation, it has to go good enough to where those two, <laughs> they become one. So that's where we are right now. We're waiting. We're waiting to see. Because, again, all the reports, all the rumors, we heard it all throughout this offseason about Baltimore Ravens, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry brought it to Baltimore Ravens. We heard it all, but now we're just waiting for something to come to fruition or for it not to. 
and I've seen a lot of Ravens fans. We even tweeted it ourselves. We talked about how, man, what if after all of this, what if after all of this stuff that's happened so far, all the rumors, the reports, the videos, the articles, this, that, and the third, what if after all of that, the Ravens ain't even signed Derrick Henry? I know that was a, a bit of a blow to a lot of Ravens fans, a bit of a bit of a gut punch to a lot of Ravens fans with Saquon Barkley signed with the Eagles. But if Derrick Henry didn't sign with the Baltimore Ravens, I actually think that uh, more Ravens fans would be hurt from that. Because only because there's been a lot more rumors and stuff that have circulated around this, around Derrick Henry to the Ravens than there were for Saquon Barkley to the Ravens. Especially since we knew Saquon Barkley, his price tag was going to be significant. And the Eagles, they paid a pretty penny. But Eagles, they ain't afraid to pay a pretty penny to whoever, really. Y'all know that already. They, they are big spenders. How they do it? Hey, they got it. And their, their quarterback is on his second conscience. So they, they figured it out. But anyway. So um, with Derrick Henry and the Baltimore Ravens, we're going to see. We're going to see if they can get it done. But I know a lot of Ravens fans are uh, cautiously optimistic. Very cautiously optimistic. Because this has happened before. This has certainly happened before. Where Ravens are linked to a player. Ravens interested. Yeah, y'all Y'all know how it goes. But... It doesn't end up happening. So I, I get being cautious, not wanting to put all your feelings into this, not wanting to put all your eggs into this interest in Derrick Henry basket. But if you do, cool. If you don't, cool. Whatever going to happen, going to happen. Whatever not going to happen, it's not. So we just got to wait it out. Hope for the best. Not necessarily expect the worst, but hope for the best. And we got to hope that Derrick Henry does not make in addition to the almost Ravens team, because that would be a tragedy.